Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome. So we're just going to give people a minute or so to tune in. We've got a busy call tonight. So uh, everyone is coming in thick and fast. We hope you've had a great day. Let us know what you're up to in the uh, the little chat box or the Q&A box. Merry Christmas, Gemma. Yeah, Merry Christmas. It's we look like about... Santa's elves. You've got your green jumper on, got my Christmas jumper on, look. It's all yeah. happening here. Oh, look, hello from Kildare in Ireland. Oh, I feel like we're doing children in need. It's exciting, isn't it? Can you see the Q&A, Beth, or not? Yeah. Can you open that? I can't, so. Probably best. That's, um, I'll be in charge. That's up to you. There's people coming in thick and fast. We've got over 130 people already. There must be a lot of Christmas spirit out there. That is all I can say. Lots of Christmas spirit. There we go. Right. Well, look, we'll make a start. And it is a pleasure to be on tonight. So tonight you have myself and Beth taking you through a Christmas masterclass. Now, if you've been in the business for a while, there's possibly going to be nothing brand new here. But it's, I suppose it's all about saying, right, Christmas, what are we doing this year? And, you know, 2020, let's face it, it's been a different year due to COVID and the way in which we're working slightly differently to how we have in the past. So there's a great opportunity to come together to look at a plan for Christmas that we're probably all familiar with, but to say, how can we meet, really make this work through lockdown and as we work more online as well? So... There's lots of good stuff happening in the chat box, Gemma, I have to say. Helen started a new job and got two new customers today. Wow. Chat is using Canva and advertising her first online Christmas sale on Saturday. So uh, there's lots happening. Lots of Christmas activity. Brilliant. Well done. Well done. So if you have had uh, something good happen in your business or you're gearing up for it linked to Christmas already, well done to you. And there is only 42 sleeps remaining. That's it. 42 sleeps will be gone in a heartbeat. So now is our opportunity to really help customers with their shopping helping them make decisions about what they would like to give to themselves in many cases as an extra treat while they're finding gifts for other people. But um, yeah, you know, 42 sleeps is absolutely nothing. And maybe your Christmas wish list this year, like your customers, is going to be a little different. And of course, Christmas will still be happening this year, despite some of the challenges we've faced or the things we've needed to overcome with COVID. But feel free to put this in the chat box and Beth will pick it up. How has your perspective changed this year? Because we've maybe all faced different situations through lockdowns that have slightly changed our perspective, the things that we value, the importance that we've placed on family time, maybe the ways we're choosing to be a lot more creative or, you know, I did a post on my social media last night about doing a jigsaw, you know, as a late night switch off from work. Maybe like me, you know, you've done different things. Maybe you've started to appreciate things that this time last year were not on your radar. They were not something that you were doing or you were even thinking about. You know, I had a friend this morning who I used to work with years and years ago who connected on Strava. And like her comment was, well, when would we ever have become buddies on Strava? You know, neither of us three years ago would have dreamt of like tracking a run. You know, now neither her or I are expert runners or massively, massively into fitness, but that's just a small example. The jigsaw is a really small example of actually how we're probably all doing very different things to maybe what we have done before. And is this going to shape 
our Christmas wish list around our experiences or around the things we're doing or what we want to do, of course it is. Of course it is because it's conditioning us to, to value and appreciate different things, but also um, to create new habits. So Beth, please tell me I'm not alone. I can't be the only crazy one who's doing different things. Let's yeah. hope other people yeah. are. No one's sharing what they've been doing as far as crazy is concerned. Uh, it's very business focused. So at least somebody's got their eye on the game. Uh, Lorraine's been telling us about some Christmas bundle products. She's doing Zoom launches. So that's excellent, Lorraine. And we're going to talk about Zoom launches shortly. Um, so she is making the most of social media. But yeah, people, are, we've got to find a different way to do business. But it doesn't change Christmas spirit, does it? Totally. And I think, you know, the, the people are ready for that Christmas spirit as we get closer to December. Now that the dark nights are here, we've had half term, we've had Halloween, we've had bonfire night. And that that week, those kind of seven to ten days are the tipping point where the world is now right by thinking about Christmas. And with that in mind, we are literally now just over two weeks away from what will be again the biggest shopping day of the year so Black Friday has been an incredibly busy day for us over the last three four years in the business and what's made it that is the customer and their expectations of the value and the service that they expect linked to their shopping experience as they think about buying gifts for their loved ones has changed linked to this one day. There is no, or there hasn't been in the past few years, any shopping day in December that has been greater than the amount that we've seen spent on fr the last Friday in November. So Friday the 27th is Black Friday. And this is when it is totally your choice about whether you want to support Black Friday and giving Black Friday experience in your business. Now, remember, we are all independent business owners. So you might be somebody who is in the camp of yes, Black Friday, I get behind, I give a discount or I give a gift with purchase. Maybe you express that with an extra 15 or 20 percent off, which is kind of the guideline that Beth and I have always worked with over the past few years. It's what we've shared openly around the company in years gone by. Um, or you might be in the camp of, you know, Black Friday offers aren't right for my business. It's not actually what my customers are looking for. So remember, you're an independent business owner. But if you're wanting to get behind Black Friday, um, the company are doing posters this year. There's already information up on Forever Knowledge. So you can access that, speak to your upline and go directly to them about what support maybe they have linked to Black Friday, particularly if you're new in the business, keep close to your sponsor and they can guide you on that detail. Now, what we know is last year, the average that was spent around the UK by household was £727. And this was funding Christmas. This included decorations, this included food, drink, experiences and presents. Now, what we do know already in 2020 is the experience part of Christmas that people have been used to investing in, things like Christmas parties, pantomimes, um, you know, hosting, big gatherings for Christmas with food and drink involved. The spending in that area is likely to be a lot less this year than it has been previously. Now, my instinct, and this is not, don't quote me on this, this is not coming straight out of the Daily Telegraph or, you know, the British Retail Consortium as a governing body of retail. It's coming from Gemma. Um, so just a word of caution. My instinct is I think people will spend a little bit more if they can afford it on Christmas gifting because they won't be investing that money elsewhere on experiences. Now, there will be the other extremes where 
some families will be facing more hardship this year than they ever have before because of the unemployment numbers that we're seeing at the moment and the uncertainty. But where people have got the provision to spend on Christmas what they did last year, this year, I think we're going to see a little bit more going into present buying. Um, and the thing to bear in mind is, let's say the average household is spending £727 again this year, like they did last year, that money is going somewhere. My question to you tonight is, what share of that spending are you looking to get? Because every business who is providing a product or a service for Christmas, their job is to help the customer see a solution to what they're looking for or to give incredibly good value to make it easy for that customer to do their shopping. So the question is, you know, what are you offering? What are you offering to make sure that, you know, you capitalize on an opportunity that is going to happen with or without you? The only question is, do you want to benefit from it or not? So Beth, I don't know whether we want to just check the chat box again before we uh, go into the next section. You don't need to worry about the chat box. I've checked it. I've responded. We're all good. And there was a lovely suggestion in there from Lorraine, though, that um, she is doing an online event and she's donating some of her money from each sale to charity. And I know there's lots of people doing um, some charity support uh, this Christmas, which is another fantastic thing that we can do as business owners. But it, it is time to work proud, down. I beg your pardon? Always makes people feel proud. Doesn't it? But we need a good plan because you have to have money in order to donate it to charity or to keep it or to spend it. There needs to be a plan. So what we want to do is we want to whip you through some ideas because Christmas is an exciting time to be in retail. It's exciting when you realise that you have got your hands on an opportunity to do your own Christmas shopping. And what greater gift is there than health? Mohammed put in the um, chat box earlier that um, it's an important time of year to be looking at health and an important year to look at health so uh, we need a good plan so here are some of our top tips so Gemma if you pop the first slide up for me let's have a little look first things first never ever forget the power of buying from your own shop because your level of discount allows you to gift the people that you love and like and have to buy gifts for so there's a few of them I'm sure products that will have a really positive impact on their health. And, and so just some of the things to think about, if you haven't already, look at your own Christmas list of people that you buy for. Who do you buy for? Put them at the heart of your retailing and ask yourself, what are their hobbies? What job do they do? What are they passionate about? What products do you already see them using? Make your gifts useful. If you know that they use skincare, you could supply them with some of ours. If you know that they play sport and drink protein shakes or use an equivalent to our heat lotion, then you know that uh, replacing those items with some from our range will be very, very welcome. So think about who you buy for and buy as many. Be really creative. You know, think really creatively about what you would like to treat the people that you love to from your own shop. And then there are collections at this time of year, there's always collections. Whether you're a school parent and you're doing a collection as a class for a teacher, there might be somebody in your business that's leaving to have a baby. There might be a collection for your boss, depends on how nice your boss is. You might um, have somebody retiring or leaving. Um, there's 101 reasons that people get together and raise collections. And instead of just giving your fiver in for that collection this year, why not grab the ball by the horns and be the person that collects all of those five pound donations or whatever it is in your network and be the one who organizes that gift from your own shop. Because in the same time as giving that gift to someone, you also get the opportunity to let them know where that gift came from. So you can pop in a little business card, a brochure, and then you have then, you know who that gift's going to, you've then got them as a potential customer, repeat customer in the future. Handbag retailing. 
I know we don't get out much these days, but there are still opportunities when we are out and about and between our hand cleanser, lip balm, propolis cream, bee pollen tablets, they're just some of the ones that I carry around with me all the time and then there are countless opportunities where uh, you know you might be walking in the park you might be having a distanced coffee with somebody um you know you might be in the the playground or in on the, the train or wherever you are there will be opportunities where people around you will be intrigued by what you're using because we're always looking for recommendations so if you're brand new to this business you'll know that people are always looking for recommendations. So I hope Shakti that uh, it describes what handbag retailing is. It's actually the use of your own products in action because people are really nervous um, and they're nosy. They don't want to risk spending money on something that might not work. When they see you taking bee pollen tablets or you putting propolis cream on, they want to know why you use it, what is it for. And you'll know as well as I do that when you start to use our products, they change the way you look and the way you feel. And people take that as a really positive sign so always try and have some of your products with you um, and use them in your everyday life and that impact and the ripples of that will reach out into your networks stocking fillers oh my goodness the number of opportunities there are to put our products into stockings so it might not just be the stockings that you fill as your santa claus in your house but it could be suggesting to other people your friends your family that they buy their stocking fillers for the people they love from you so we're going to show you some of our favorite stocking fillers but i want you to think creatively if it's small enough to go in a stocking it really ought to go in there and there are so many of our products that become that come singly so you know you can put a few tea bags in a stocking. You can put a few sachets of RG, a few sachets of super greens. Um, you can put a tin of fab. You can put an avocado soap. You can put a deodorant. You could put um, a little pot of bee pollen. There's some of my relatives that every year I do a little uh, gift box for and bee pollen always goes in there. They're in teaching. They're always looking for extra energy. So if it's small, it's an opportunity to be classed as a stocking filler in my world. Hampers. How many people do you know that typically they struggle to know what to buy people? And so what they do is they make their way up to Boots or any other retailer is available. And they look and they look at the three for two offers and they just buy a Shampoo's gift set or, you know, some other gift set. And they just give a relatively anonymous gift to somebody that they love or care about because they didn't know that there were other options available. So be that person, offer to do those hampers, make those collections of gifts. Some people don't love buying, believe it or not, some people don't love selecting gifts for other people. And if you can give them, if you can get from them a description of the person that they're buying for, they can then trust that you will choose products from your range that fit the profile and the budget that they have given you for the person that they want to gift it to. And that is a beautiful way to, um, to make contact with another potential customer for the future. And then show and tell retailing. You know, what you use on your social media, what people see in your, well, I was gonna say in your house, they're unlikely to come in your house at the moment, but what they see on your social media, what you recommend, I hope most of you um, will have, but I hope those of you who are new will understand the power of having an online private customer group you know what you show your customers that you use and what's new and also fascinating when you start to show the customers in your private group what other customers are buying when you start to unpack your delivery boxes and people start to see that other people that they know are starting to buy things that they've never used they get the FOMO they get fear of missing out big time and suddenly you'll find additional orders rolling in so show and tell is a really powerful way of increasing products that you can end up buying from your own shop but it doesn't end up there here are a handful of opportunities that we hope that you'll also be remembering at this time of year so christmas fairs these have literally moved on from church halls and community centres to online. There are more online Christmas markets than you can shake a stick at these days. And they are turning into really lucrative opportunities for small businesses to collaborate 
and share the best products and the best Christmas gifting ideas. And actually, if you're going to prepare um, some of your products to be seen in one Christmas fair online, you might as well try and get on as many as you can, because quite often you have an hour slot to show your products, or you might even have a whole day to devote to your business, depending on how that event is being run. But the, um, the reach of these groups is massive. So don't underestimate the power. Don't think that Christmas fairs are off the agenda just because we can't get eyeball to eyeball um, with people as, as easily as we were this time last year. Secret Santa gifts. There's always a secret Santa opportunity amongst a, a team in an office, a, a group of school friends. You know, think about buying that secret Santa gift from your shop, maybe for the first time this year. People love that. Panic buyers. You know, we know some people love Christmas shopping um, and I am, I'm halfway there and it's all wrapped. And I just love the intention of gifting people things that I have thought carefully about and selected for them to make them smile and understand how much they mean to me. There are other people that they're very busy at this time of year. Think about the number of key workers we've got, frontline workers, the number of very tired academic staff um, and people who they're going to leave it to the last minute. We need those last minute panic buyers to have a better plan this year. So don't wait until you see them walking around lingerie departments in uh, department stores on Christmas Eve. Actually reach out and work out who these people are. You can normally you can normally know them. You can profile them amongst your own network or just put a you know, message out on your social media to get them to identify themselves because you've got the opportunity to help these people. Your business allows you to gift them peace of mind and time. So, um, you know, never forget to reach out and offer a service to a panic buyer who will leave it last minute unless somebody like you helps them out. And then we've got your customers. I put customer's husband. It could be your customer's wife. It could be your customer's sister, your customer's mum. Think creatively. If you've got a regular customer, let's call her Claire. And Claire buys from you every month. You will probably have worked out now what Claire's favourite products are. You also might have introduced her to the concept of creating a wish list with you. There might be things that Claire would love to try from our range, but she doesn't want to treat herself to. Um, so that is your opportunity to be the aloe vera Christmas fairy. You reach out into Claire's network and you contact Claire's husband, Claire's sister. And, you know, you say to them, look, um, I don't know if you are thinking of buying Claire any health and wellness presents this year, but she's got her eye on a skincare set um, because she's a regular customer of mine. If you are interested, I can let you know what she'd like. And then if you want me to provide it for you to give to her, you let me know. And, um, and so that is a fantastic opportunity. The number of customers you've got currently that when it comes to January 21 will want to get their hands on a cleanse or a new set of skincare and their network might not know it's your job to spread that information so that you can make them the happiest that they can be on Christmas morning. So talking about happy when you're opening Christmas presents let's look at just a few presents that we think are going to be really really popular this year so some of these we would have focused on last year because our presents our gifts and, and the products in our range are fantastic all year but the infinite set uh skincare set and also the sonia skincare range the sonia although although i am quite old um the sonia skincare set is perfect for my skin and that is a gift that it's superbly priced and think you know your customers they can't get back in and they can't get up to that beauty counter and speak to that clarence lady that um you know, the uh, Clinique lady for their skincare sets, you've got your hands on market leading products. So don't forget the power of skincare. And then we've got the mask powder. You know, that is a gem because, okay, the mask powder and the activator retails at about 30 pounds, but you get mask after mask after mask out of that. And I know anybody receiving that on Christmas morning will be proper grateful. And then we've got our biocellulose mask. You know, a box of five is a fantastic gift. And last year I reached out into the football parents thread for both my son and my daughter's football teams. And I just picked off the gentleman and I said to him, look, guys, I'm not sure if you know, but your wife would probably love or your girlfriend would probably love a face mask for Christmas. 
I've got some, they retail at 50 pounds for a box, five or 10 pounds each. If you want brownie points, let me know and I can make sure you get your hands on some. I literally got a full house, came straight back and said, lovely. They either bought a box or the masks singly. And they're brilliant, they fit into a stocking perfectly. And then think about the products that we've got in the tubes of cream, you know, moisturizing lotion, the marine mask and scrub. That is a lovely combo. And I know in every team, there'll be somebody who makes something beautiful out of cellophane and some little, you know, we've got a lady in our team called Amanda. And what Amanda can't do with some sparkly stocking shaped boots she got for a pound from home bargains and a bit of cellophane. Honest to goodness, she makes the gift of a, a tube of cream and a lip balm look like it is worth twice the amount of money that it actually costs. So you've got products that fit into beautiful Christmas boxing and, and accessories that you can really buy very easy on the high street. Any of those we think would be an absolute winner for a lady in your life. And then on the flip side, looking for the gentleman, some of the products that we would recommend you consider for uh, the gentleman. Look, you know, how many guys do you know that exercise regularly and uh, probably take a protein shake, but don't really know, maybe they haven't researched what other supplements would be brilliant for them. You know, not only can you supply them with a pack of Argy, which is a whole month's worth, even if they were to use it every day. You can also get hold of that Argy bottle, great gift. The Gentleman's Aftershave Lush, if you haven't smelt that, that is not only brilliantly priced, but beautiful. Gentleman's Pride, always slightly suspicious at the name, but you know what, that is an absolute winner for any, any gentleman that shaves and wants to take care of um, his skin and not get the after effects of razor rash. And also thinking about so many gentlemen for whom a biocellulose mask is a great gift even for gentlemen who have beards, even for ladies who have beards. The uh, biocellulose mask allows the content of that mask to penetrate through the facial hair into the skin. So don't, don't uh, just write off the beauty products for the ladies in your life, put them out there for the gentlemen too. And then we've got more sports products. But what do you buy somebody who has everything? That difficult relative or friend who you think, do you know what, I have always at a loss as to what to buy them. Well, we've got a few gift ideas for somebody who has everything. Uh, here you go. Maybe they've got a pet. We know people who have animals often love them more than the humans in their life. So thinking about some of the products that could, you could put together a little gift pack, including the aloe first, the um, aloe hand soap, the uh, aloe jelly, the propolis, all of which, the drinking gel, beautiful products for anybody who has got an animal. You know, the mask powder, who doesn't love a bit of pampering? And then, you know, you've got the aloe blossom tea. It's a great gift for that. Thank you for taking in all my parcels to the next door neighbor to thank you for feeding my cat while I go away. You know, if it's somebody that you're not sure, you don't know them that well, the aloe blossom tea bags and the hot honey makes a beautiful gift. You could add some biscuits to it. You could zhuzh it up in any way you like, cellophane or not, hamper or not, the products will do the talking. And that leads you to the opportunity to have a potential customer in the future as well. And then, you know, the clean nine. Think about how many people you know who are always in the market for a cleanse uh, in New Year. And, you know, socially distancing yourself from the fridge, it's a tricky art at the moment. And we know so many people are wanting to take care of their waistline as much as their skin. But there's one product that I think you should risk gifting to everybody. It should be in every stocking. It should be in every secret Santa. It should take its place in every hamper, every collection gift, and that is drinking gel. The mini bottles of drinking gel are perfect for gifting and it allows somebody to overcome the hurdle of, I won't like the taste, but you are automatically putting the best health and wellness product in the world in front of them on Christmas morning. And that cannot be sneered at. So one last category to look at before I hand back to Gemma is stocking fillers. We've talked about it. Some pictures on the screen of things that are small enough to put in a stocking as well as those tubes of cream. So please don't limit your thinking when it comes to stocking fillers because each one of these gifts is an introduction to 250 products that feature in the catalog. Each one 
of these products could be the reason that somebody reaches back out to you to ask you for another tooth gel. And then they have a conversation about the other products you do. And then they go on and want a bit of discount. And suddenly you've got a new team member who is enjoying retailing and recommending products for him or herself. Never underestimate the impact of a single product, regardless of its value. We've all probably got lip balm customers that we know will stay with us for life because that mighty midget uh, makes them feel proud of their lips every single day. So Gemma, I'm handing back to you. I've exhausted myself on the potential present front. Let me check the um, chat box while I hand over to you for a moment. Thank you. Okay, so, so we've looked at ways of sharing your business, lots of different types of income generating activity, products that we've got that suit, suit each grouping or category of customer or gift buying. But what else can we do? Well, something that has worked really well over the past few years is the power of a gift voucher. And again, this is where being an independent business owner, you have got the choice in terms of how you want to use this in your business. So within Forever Knowledge, you can find a five pound gift voucher and a 10 pound gift voucher. Now, these are showing that, um, they've got written on them that they expire 12 months from the date of issue. Now, if you want to slightly tweak the small print on these vouchers to suit what you want, so it might be that you give a gift voucher out in November and it's redeemable in December, or you give them out in December and they are redeemable in January, it is totally up to you. But it's thinking about how and why you would use these vouchers. So let's let's start with the why, because if the reason why makes sense to us, finding how we use them is really easy. If we start with, okay, well, how are we gonna use them? But we don't really know why we're doing that. Sometimes we can run out of steam or we become a little bit inconsistent or it becomes hard to, to get clarity on what we're actually trying to do. So why would you give the gift of a gift voucher to somebody. Well, the gift of a gift voucher is a great way of giving something back to somebody as a positive gesture. They don't necessarily need to buy anything for you to gift it. It might be for you. You just want to sprinkle a little bit of magic. Now, Beth and I earlier this week met with a group of business owners who are in a book club with us and we're all reading a book called Create Magic. Maybe you've read that before. It's a book by Jason Vale. Barry the Book has it. But the whole essence of that is just, just sprinkle magic. Just give without any expectation um, back in exchange. And at Christmas, where we've seen great results with these gift vouchers are where business owners just give them out and say, look, you've been a great customer of mine, or you've been somebody who has throughout the year, you've attended one of my events, or you've listened into a business presentation, or you know, you've been a good friend to me, or I know you've had a hard time, if you give, then you just don't know what you're going to get back in exchange, but that can only be received positively by the other person. As I say, it's totally up to you if you want to adapt the redemption, if you want to say, you know, it's a free voucher, but it is, rede you know, it's redeemable on purchases. So the, the five pound one might be, do you know, it's redeemable on any purchase over the value of 15 or 20 pounds. The 10 pound one might be redeemable on product, you know, a product order that is to the value of 30 pounds or more. So that, you know, you're never going to be in a position where you lose money. But if you think, do you know what, I don't even want to put that limitation on it. I just want to give. Sometimes the universe has a weird and wonderful way of just you know, let making sure that everything is as it should be for right for you as much as it's right for the customer. So I would actively encourage you to think about how you can use these now this year. It's never been more timely in terms of just giving something back to people unexpectedly. 
And this is a perfect way. You know, if you are doing Dear Neighbour letters or anything like that, you know, you can comfortably link something like this to what you're doing. Um, it's a great thank you, or it's just something that is a fantastic, spontaneous act of kindness to people as well. Now, the other um, area of the business that really is proving to be the highest paid part of our activity um, by quite some stretch actually uh, this year has been the power of experience with products online. If you'd said uh, to me back in March you'll be able to create as much rapport and potentially grow sales more with custom online versus what we were able to do in the home or face to face with people pre-COVID. If you'd said that to me in March, I probably would have said, I doubt it. Hands up. My view has changed on that. It's changed quite drastically because what I've seen consistently this year is where business owners choose to use the power of experience online to bring people together to create community whether that's one-to-one -one, whether that's with a small group of like-minded people this is a very effective way to be able to help people learn and access our products but also to hear firsthand why we are so passionate but to feel our passion and this is something that it's impossible to get and over and share with somebody in a message or via text it's about us leveraging the art of communication and accepting that you know we have seven percent impact with our words alone but when we choose to then use um, our emotion, when we choose to use visual aids, when we can really connect with people, it's that that has a huge impact on the audience. So now is the time to be creative with online product experience. Um, you know, there is an opportunity to theme your launches and your product events to Christmas, to pampering, to um, gift experience nights, Black Friday, Pampers, Prosecco nights. There's all sorts of things that you can do. Um, you know, there's a lot of virtual Christmas fairs that are going on, but the vast majority of those are drip feeding information where it's one way, the communication's one direction. You know, the, the people in the virtual fair who are shopping are receiving a picture or some text. I'm not saying that's not effective, it is, and we're getting great results from that. But this area, if you're looking to generate high income, you're looking to, to generate rapport, this is where the networking will happen. Um, and this is where you can genuinely help people because it's possible to have conversations. You know, you might be somebody who is still quite fearful of technology, work with your sponsor, work with your upline. You know, again, don't be on your own work with the support that is there because you know our business is set up in a way where nobody needs to work on their own if they don't want to um, but this carries huge huge reward so let's talk about profit you know we, you've heard about different products that are relevant to him her the you know the people who have everything we've looked at different things you can do in your business so what is on offer for you well, to keep this very, very simple, you know, tonight, let's think about the value of your retailing like this. For every one case credit of retailed products in your business that you are responsible for, there's a 75% profit. And the reason why we're using 75 is that is the wholesale difference between the recommended retail price and what we are all entitled to no matter where we sit on the marketing plan with our 30% discount. So £75 of profit for every case credit. Now, the value of a case credit, you know, just cl close to, call, let's call it rounded up, £250. So we are very highly paid for what we do. And 
for the simplicity of, okay, well, what's the power of us having a four case credit retailing business at this time of year? It's very simple. We're going to be earning a minimum of £300 of profit if we are 4CC active. And the personal bonuses that you get on top, the little bits of extra on top, well, do you know, that can cover some of your packaging. It might cover some of your postage. It, it, you know, it can be what it can be. But for the purpose of what we're looking at tonight, you know, £300 of profit being 4 case credit active in your retailing this Christmas. People are falling over at the moment in terms of the need to connect with people, the need to talk, community, receiving a great service and great value. And what I mean by value is not always about price. It's about the service that you can give, the experience that you can give. The demand for that sort of stuff now is higher more than ever. So what can you what could you do? In your business you know what could you do the power of those online events that i was sharing before you know the average that you're going to see come from an audience of about four people is at least half a case credit just by simply showing your favorite products and that doesn't have to be the whole start your journey pack that can be a selection of four five six different products it might be you just want to talk about a c9 it might be you just want to do drinking gel and talk about the power of consuming drinking gel every single day it might be you just want to show some christmas gift ideas but the minimum you're going to be earning from something like that is half a case credit the likelihood is that's for no more than 30 or 40 minutes of your time. So let's think about that for a moment. You know, we're talking about a return of about 35, 40 pounds for a bit of work. You know, now that I'm talking about really average, average results where it is here, you might earn a lot more. You know, if you have got a bigger audience, you are going to get more than a case credit off an online event. You know, where, where are you being paid in your day job if you're still working? Where are you being paid £75 for an hour of your work? Can you see why I talked about the power of experience online being one of the highest income generating areas? And what this means is not only are you helping your customers, you're adding value, you're either working with your new team or your existing team to help them create a profitable business, or you, if you're doing this activity for yourself, you are creating a very profitable um, experience for your own business and a great return on your time. And the impact that can have on your own Christmas is huge, huge. So, you know, the question I'm, I'm going to ask before we go back to Beth to look at a little bit more detail on this and how she's worked specifically in this area is, you know, what would an extra £500 do for you between now and the week before Christmas? What would that do if you decided just to up your game for the remainder of November and to work your business in the first couple of weeks of December? I think for each and every one of us, we probably wouldn't struggle <laughs> to make a great use of £500, whether that's to support ourselves or whether that is to support charity, our community or whatever we know needs attention because 2020 has been a rough year. So this, this really is powerful if we can connect to that reason why we are looking to create a great profitable business that is also delivering superb service and value back to our customers. So Beth, when we talk about the value of your activity, I know um, breaking this down step by step, doing that with some visual inspiration and creativity has been a huge thing for you. Um, you've shared lots of this detail that is on a recording within a masterclass on forever knowledge and that's there for everybody to access but what what is it that you would say to people tonight and you know what is the relevant buzz light sitting on the screen looking back at us at this present time 
Um, I think, and, and you're absolutely right, it's a treat if anyone wants to go back and watch the, the longer presentation that I gave a little while ago about the, the power of a Christmas dream board, because sometimes um, I think life is busy or life is challenging and the, the best way for you to find a reason to do your business, a reason to retail, a reason to get a place at one of those online Christmas markets, a reason to create your own gift vouchers and attach them to dear neighbor letters, a reason to go back to your regular customers or the people that have seen, you know, they, they just fall into the abyss. They drunk gel for six months and then disappear off the face of the planet. There's got to be a reason to motivate you to go back and to, um, to build momentum in your retailing business. And, you know, these, this selection of pictures on the screen could be anything. They just indicate the things that you can attach that activity to. Because once you have generated that £300 a month, that £500 between now and Christmas, you get to decide what you spend it on. And if it's done around the nooks and crannies of a day job, it's extra money. And like Gemma said, using £75 per case credit, you know, if, if you know what you're working to buy then the whole game of retailing you know because it is theatre retailing is theatre the game of it just it, it just starts and it's so much fun and just to illustrate a point um you know there is a uh, this is a picture of a christmas dream board that i made i showed it on the masterclass session but basically these are a selection of presents that i wanted to be able buy and use my retailing profit margin for and so everything on here there's you know going to see the christmas lights at a local national um not national trust forestry commission place which is a beautiful experience i take the olds my parents there um you know there's a tracksuit for my nephew there's a, a dance onesie for my niece there's a fitbit which um was for my daughter uh, a jumper there's a christmas tree like literally to make up for lockdown i'm gonna have more sparkly lights and christmas decorations in my house than I have ever seen before. Um, so these are all things I've wanted to spend my retail profit on. And what I do, Gemma said, I take that 75 pounds profit per case credit and I divide the cost of these items by 75 pounds. Let me explain what on earth it is I mean. So I wanted to buy tickets for us to go and see the lights in the Christmas uh, display at Bedgebury Forest, which is down in Kent where I live. It was going to cost me £120 to buy the tickets that I needed. If you divide £120 by £75, which is your profit per case credit, all I needed to work on was if I want to take my parents and the kids to see the Christmas lights at Bedgebury, I need to retail 1.6 case credits of product. If I retail 1.6 case credits of product at full retail price, the profit that I earn will pay for those Christmas tree light experiences. What else have I got on here? Um, this uh, Forza Horizon game, it costs £40. So in order for me to pay for that with retail profit, I need to retail half a case credit of product at full price. And then I can use the product to buy that, to buy my daughter's Fitbit you know, 50 pounds, it cost me to buy her the Fitbit. If I divide 50 pounds by 75 pounds, I get 0 0.6. Now, the other way of looking at it is one new starter in my business. The team leading bonus on a starter, the recruitment bonus on the new starter would buy that Fitbit. So when I go about my everyday business, it's not like a machine or a robot. It's to say today, when I share my products with people, I'm going to get excited because every clean nine, that I retail will pay for something on here. And it comes down to that reason to work, which is do I want to buy my niece this dance onesie enough to move my backside to retail 0.6 worth of case credit? Because I know when I do that, I can afford this. So all of these things, the Christmas food on our table, visiting the lights, the decorations, the Christmas tree itself, some of the gifts, and you can't probably can't see, but lots of them have got done, 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 done through them because actually I start this early in the autumn and therefore these have already been bought they're wrapped they're upstairs and just the joy that that brings me and the gratitude that I have for having my hands on a business that I can run 
completely from home when I need to and look after people and make them feel the importance that they have in my business because every clean nine customer you know I think to myself that's you know that's a lot of profit I've got the opportunity to buy Christmas presents with that profit so I look after someone really well for nine days I look after all my regular gel drinkers because each month I know I'm going to be able to spend the profit I earn on the people I love so it's just a concept and building on what Gemma was saying give yourself a good reason to move this Christmas and you've got so much time because people are waiting they've got their pot of Black Friday money ready to spend and each year Black Friday extends into a Black weekend and I know I heard one of the kitchen companies doing Black November on the radio this morning so you know people have got that November paycheck that will hit that is what they want to spend if they can on Christmas presents and for those who can't afford to spend the money they want on Christmas presents then for goodness sake identify them reach out and introduce them to an opportunity that will allow them by this time next year to be creating a dream board of their own and to be retailing and team building should they wish to so one of my favorite products to retail at Christmas is a business owning box. So that start your journey pack is a great gift. And actually one of our team members set of that up and she talks about it on her online Zoom launches because you know there's 200 pounds of, of money being invested for 300 pounds worth of product and a global right to trade. What better gift? I mean, we both bought our businesses late in the, in the calendar year, didn't we Gemma? We did. And look, look what happened since then. So never underestimate the power of that. So that's what I would say about managing your motivation. Is that does that help, Gemma? That's what you wanted. That yeah, yeah. What what have we got in the chat? Have we got because I'm just got an eye on the clock because we are kind of at time. But um, if there are any questions there that we need to pick up, happy to pick those up really quickly. No, there's none unanswered. I've been beavering away while you were chatting, answering questions, um, and just redirecting me people to two really valuable sites I suppose um, if you're looking for the answers to question or material don't forget the wealth of information that's available to help you promote and market our uh, products at Christmas which can all, all be found on either foreverknowledge.com or also um, you know foreverliving.com and the team at head office are incredible in making um, really impressive professional uh, marketing materials and the Allo Life magazine my last pitch would be the Allo Life magazine that goes out to all of my regular customers each time I wish there were more issues um, every time an issue comes out but at this time of year you know people they they want to know what their options are they will be thinking ahead to 21 and thinking what do I want 2021 to look like I might need an extra income I might need a backup plan I might need um, you know a whole new job and, and we've got that at our fingertips to offer them haven't we Gemma? We have we have indeed we have we've got every, you know every tool is there as ever in our business you know it's ready made our job is simply to get out and share what we've got. Oh look Michelle Irvine is in the box I got my box as a Christmas present oh, what an amazing Christmas go. present Michelle. Hi Michelle um there's like there you go so say no more that's great uh, reinforcement that people do buy the business as a christmas present any other yes. questions to come in no 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 we're done lovely well look need to get on um, I'm not going to say Merry Christmas because it is a bit early to be saying that, but it's been fantastic spending time with you Merry tonight. Peace. Wherever you are, have a lovely evening, stay well and happy November. Bye. <laughs>